friends in Christ. On this most holy night, when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life, the Church invites her children throughout the world to come together in vigil and prayer. This is the Passover of the Lord. We honor the memory of his death and resurrection by hearing his word and celebrating his mysteries. And we may be confident that we will share his victory over death and live with him forever in God. May the light of Christ rising in glory dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. Amen. Rejoice, heavenly powers, sing choirs of angels. Exalt all creation around God's throne. Jesus Christ, our King, is risen. Sound the trumpet of salvation. Rejoice, O earth, in shining splendor, radiant in the brightness of your King. Christ has conquered, glory fills you. Darkness vanishes forever. Rejoice, O Mother Church, exult in glory. The risen Savior shines upon you. Let this place resound with joy, echoing the mighty song of all God's people. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is truly right that with full hearts and minds and voices we should praise the unseen God, the all-powerful Father, and his only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For Christ has ransomed us with his blood, and paid for the price of Adam's sin to our eternal Father. This is our Passover feast, when Christ the true Lamb is slain, and whose blood consecrates the homes of all believers. This is the night when first you saved our fathers, you freed the people of Israel from their slavery, and let them dry soft, shod through the sea. This is the night when Christians everywhere, washed clean of sin and freed from all defilement, are restored to grace and grow together in holiness. This is the night when Jesus Christ broke the chains of death and rose triumphant from the grave. Father, how wonderful your care for us, how boundless your merciful love. To ransom a slave, you gave away your son. O happy fault, O necessary sin of Adam, which gained for us so great a Redeemer. The power of this holy night dispels all evil, washes guilt away, restores lost innocence, and brings mourners joy. Night truly blessed when heaven is wedded to her, and humanity is reconciled with God. Therefore, Heavenly Father, in the joy of this night, receive our evening sacrifice of praise. Your church's solemn offering, accept this Easter candle, may it always despair the darkness of this night. May the morning star which never sets find the flame still burning. Christ, the morning star who came back from the dead and shed his peaceful light on all mankind. Your son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, we have begun our solemn vigil. Let us now listen attentively to the word of God. 
recalling how he saved his people throughout history, and in the fullness of time sent his own Son to be our Redeemer. Through this Easter celebration, may God bring to perfection the saving work he has begun in us. in the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image, and the divine image he created him. Male and female, he created him. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over all the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it, to be your food, to all the animals of the land, all the lands, birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground. I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and it was found to be very good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. The Lord send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. You fix the earth upon its foundation, not to be moved forever. With the ocean is with a garment you covered it. Above the mountains the water stood. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. You send forth springs from the watercourses that wind among the mountains. Beside them, the birds of heaven dwell. From among the branches, they send forth their song. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. You water the mountains from your palace. The earth is replete with all the fruit of your works. You raise grass for the cattle and vegetation for our need, for our use, producing bread from the earth. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. How manifold are your works, O Lord, in wisdom you have wrought them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Alleluia. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. Lord God, the creation of, of humanity was a wonderful work. His redemption, still more wonderful. May we persevere in right reason against all that entices to sin, and so attain to everlasting joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell, tell the Israelites to go forward, and you, lift up your staff, and with hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the Israelites may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them, and I will receive glory through Pharaoh all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The angel of the Lord, who had been leading Israel, now moved and went around behind them. The column of cloud also, leaving the front, 
took up its place behind them. And it came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of Israel. But the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed without the rival camps coming any closer together all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night, and, no, and, it, and it so turned it into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the Israelites marched into the midst of the sea on dry land, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All of Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them right into the middle of the sea, in the night watch, just before the dawn, the Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud upon the Egyptians' force a glance that threw it into panic. And so he clogged their chariot wheels, that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel, because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the waters may flow back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea flowed back to the normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head on towards the sea when the Lord hurled them back into its midst. As the waters flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army that had followed the Israelites into the sea. A single one of them escaped. But the Israelites had marched on dry land throughout the midst of the sea with the waters like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw that the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against the Egyptians. They feared the Lord and believed in him and his servant Moses. And Moses and the Israelites sang a song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he is cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us sing to the Lord, who has covered himself in glory. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he is cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. He is my God, I praise him. The God of my Father, I extol him. Let us sing to the Lord, who has covered himself in glory. The Lord is a warrior, Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. The elite of his officers were submerged in the Red Sea. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. The flood waters covered them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, magnificent in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has shattered the enemy. Let us sing to the Lord, for he has covered himself in glory. You brought in the people you redeemed and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Let us pray. Lord God, in the new covenant you shed light on the miracles you worked in ancient times. The Red Sea is a symbol of our baptism, and the nation you freed from slavery is a sign of your Christian people. May every nation share the faith and the privilege of Israel and come to the new birth in the Holy Spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. He who has become your husband is your maker. His name is the Lord of hosts. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, called God of all the earth. The Lord calls you back like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit, a wife married in youth and then cast off, says your God. For a brief moment I abandoned you, but with great tenderness I will take you back. 
an outburst of wrath for a moment. I hid my face from you, but with enduring love I take pity on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. This is for me like the days of Noah, when I swore that the waters of Noah should never, should never again deluge the earth. I have sworn not to be angry with you or to rebuke you. Through the mount, though the mountains leave their place and the hills be shaken, my love should never leave you, nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord, who has mercy on you. O oh, afflicted one, storm battered and con unconsoled, I lay your pavements in carnelians and your foundation in sapphire. I will make your battlements of rubies, your gates of carbuncles, and all your walls of precious stones. All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. And just to shall you be established far from the fear of oppression, where destruction cannot come near you, the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord. For you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me near, and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from those from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment. A lifetime his good will. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. But, O oh Lord, have pity on me, O oh Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O oh Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have answered me. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, only hope of the world, by the preaching of the prophets, you proclaim the mysteries we are celebrating tonight. Help us to be your faithful people. For it is by your inspiration alone that we can grow in goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Are you not aware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Through baptism into his death, we were buried with him, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. If we have been united with him through likeness into his death, so shall we be through a like resurrection. This we know. Our old self was crucified with him, so that the sinful body might be destroyed, and we might be slaves to sin no longer. Someone who is dead has been freed from sin. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we are also to live with him. We know that Christ, once raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him. His death was death to sin, once for all, his life for God, 
In the same way you must consider yourselves dead to sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The right hand of the Lord is struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May the Lord be with you. I'm reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After the Sabbath on the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene came with the other Mary to inspect the tomb. Suddenly there was a mighty earthquake as the angel of the Lord descended from heaven. He came to the stone, rolled it back, and sat on it. In appearance he resembled a flash of lightning, while his garments were as dazzling as snow. The guards grew paralyzed with fear of him and fell down like dead men. Then the angel spoke, addressing the women. Do not be frightened. I know you are looking for Jesus, the crucified, but he is not here. He has been raised exactly as he promised. Come and see the spot where he was laid. Then go quickly and tell the disciples he has been raised from the dead. He now goes ahead of you to Galilee where you will see him. That is the message I have for you. They hurried away from the tomb, half overjoyed, half fearful ran to carry the good news to his disciples. Suddenly, without warning, Jesus stood before them and said, Peace. The women came up and embraced his feet and did him homage. At this, Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and carry the news to my brothers that they may go to Galilee, where they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the words of the Holy Gospel, wipe away our sins. Brothers and sisters, happy Easter. I must confess that I shortened the services tonight a bit. It's very difficult to carry out the full ritual when you're alone and you have such a small space like this is. However, the essential parts were here. We had our service of the word. We have our blessed candle, which I blessed before we started. And we have Jesus here with us. We have the risen Christ in our midst. The Easter Vigil service is a over from the very, very, very earliest days of the church. We have history of this going back almost to the time of the apostles, in fact. It was a custom that the people would gather on the night before Resurrection Sunday. And they would spend the whole night in prayer. 
listening to scripture reading, singing the psalms, it would begin, as did most evening prayer services in the early church, by the blessing of a light and a candle to symbolize Christ, who is our light in darkness. And then it would move on through the readings, recalling salvation history from the creation of humanity through the trials and tribulations of the Israelites and their being set free from Egypt, through readings of the prophets who spoke of the coming of the Messiah, ending with a reading from the letters of the apostles, and finally coming to a reading from the Gospels. As the liturgy progresses, we will have a blessing of water to remind us of our baptism. And in the early years, and even today, when possible, there will be baptisms during this liturgy. There will be those who ask to be received into the full communion with the church who will receive confirmation, the laying on of hands and the anointing with chrism. And then we each and every one of us renew our baptismal promises. And only then, after we have done that, will we celebrate the Eucharist. When we do as Jesus asked us to do whenever we met as a family, as members of his body, that is what we celebrate tonight. We celebrate our redemption. We celebrate our being one in baptism. We celebrate our being one in the consecrated bread and wine. Easter celebrates new life, a new beginning. I believe it was St. Augustine who said, we are an Easter people and Alleluia is our song. My dear friends, being a Christian should be a source of joy for us. And not only a source of personal joy, but a joy that we should show to the world around us. One of the early pagan writers remarked about the Christians, see how much they love one another. And all too often today that is said, a hint of sarcasm, because all too often we do not love one another. And that is what we are called to do this Easter search, this Easter celebration is about loving one another, that God loved us so much that he became one of us. The Franciscan philosopher and theologian, Blessed John Scotus, in his writings, says in effect that God loved us so much that he became one of us, even had Adam not fallen, had we never left the garden, that God still would have become one of us out of love. That is what we celebrate today and every Easter, and what we should celebrate every day of our lives until we reach that time when we are received into the love that passes all understanding and we're united with God for eternity in his heavenly city, Jerusalem. bless the water that will be used to remind us of our baptism. My brothers and sisters, let us ask the Lord our God to bless this water he has created, which we shall use to recall our baptism when he renew us, and keep us faithful to the spirit we have all received. 
Lord our God, this night your people keep prayerful vigil. Be with us as we recall the wonder of our creation and the greater wonder of our redemption. Bless this water that makes the seeds to grow. It refreshes us and makes us clean. You have made of it a servant of your loving kindness. Through water, you set your people free and quench their thirst in the desert. With water, the prophets announced a new covenant that you would make with humanity. By water made holy by Christ in the Jordan, you made our sinful nature new. In the bath that gave us rebirth, let this water remind us of our baptism. Let us share the joys of our brothers and sisters who are baptized this Easter. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may rise with him to a new life. Now that we have completed our Lenten observance, let us renew the promises we made in our baptisms. When we rejected Satan and his works and promised to serve God faithfully in his holy church. Do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do and all his empty promises. I do. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. God, the all-powerful Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and forgiven all our sins. May he keep us faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. I saw water flowing from the side of the temple. Alleluia. It brought God's life and his salvation, and people sang in joyful praise. Alleluia. My dear brothers and sisters, with joy at Christ rising from the dead, let us turn to God our Father in prayer. He heard and answered the prayers of the son he loved so much. Let us trust he will hear our petitions. That all ministers may lead in faith and serve in love the flocks entrusted to their care by Christ the Good Shepherd. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the whole world may rejoice in the blessing of true peace and justice. The peace and justice Christ gives us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And all of our suffering, brothers and sisters, may have their sorrows turned to lasting joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our communities may have the faith and strength to bear witness to Christ's resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the dead, that they may be received into a place of light, rest, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the homeless, the suffering, and those who have no one to turn to, that, they, that we may be to them ministers of God's love and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have asked us to pray for them, for those who we have promised to pray for, and those who stand most in need of our prayers, that God will grant them the graces needed most in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own petitions.
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you know the many different needs your people have in this life. Hear us and answer the prayers of all who believe in you. We ask this through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. Let it become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And the mystery of this water and wine may become to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, to work of human hands. Let it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the gifts we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities. Okay. my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, you have nourished us with your Easter sacraments, fill us with your spirit, and make us one in peace and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sorry, I write, I sang the wrong prayer. Lord, accept the prayers and offerings of your people with your help. May this Easter mystery of our redemption bring to perfection the saving work you begun in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We praise you with greater joy than ever on this Easter night when Christ became our paschal sacrifice. He is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death. By rising, he restored our life. And so with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in the unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. We come to you, Father, with praise and thanksgiving through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him we ask you to accept and to bless these gifts we offer you in sacrifice. We offer them for your holy Catholic Church. Watch over it, Lord, and guide it. Grant it peace and unity throughout the world. We offer them for Francis, our Pope, for Stephen, our Bishop, and for all who hold and teach the Catholic faith that comes to us from the Apostles. Remember, Lord, your people, especially those for whom we now pray. Remember all of us gathered here before you. You know how firmly we believe in you and dedicate ourselves to you. We offer you this sacrifice of praise for ourselves and those who are dear to us. We pray to you, our living and true God, for our well-being and redemption. In union with the whole church, we celebrate that night when Jesus Christ when Jesus Christ our Lord rose from the dead in his human body, the honor Mary, the ever Virgin Mother of Jesus Christ our Lord and God, the honor Joseph her husband, the apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Mark, Beth, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude. We honor Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Mark, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all the saints. May their merits and prayers gain us your constant hope and protection. Father, accept this offering from your whole family. Grant us your peace in this life. Save us from final damnation and count us among those you have chosen. Bless and approve our offering. Make it acceptable to you in offering in spirit and in truth. Let it become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> when supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we celebrate the memory of Christ, your Son. We, your people and your ministers, you call his passion, his resurrection from the dead, and his ascension into glory. And for the many gifts you have given us, we offer you, God of glory and majesty, this holy and perfect sacrifice, the bread of life, and the cup of eternal salvation. Look with favor on these offerings and accept them as once you accepted the gifts of your servant Abel, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, the bread and wine offered by your priest, Melchizedek. Almighty God, we pray that your angel may take this sacrifice to your altar in heaven. And as we receive from this altar the sacred body and blood of your Son, let us be filled with every grace and blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, Lord, those who have died and have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, especially those for whom we now pray. May these and all who sleep in Christ find in your presence light, happiness, and peace. For ourselves, too, we ask some share in the fellowship of your apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felisti, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all the saints. Though we are sinners, we trust in your mercy and love. Do not consider what we truly deserve, but grant us your forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord, you give us all these gifts. You fill them with life and goodness. You bless them and make them holy. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety. As we wait in joyful hope, for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I give you peace, my peace I give you. Not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, who grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom. For you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the risen Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God, the risen Savior, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the eternal life to us, receive it. Let us pray. Lord, you have nourished us with your Easter sacraments. Fill us with your spirit and make us one in peace and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. The masses ended, go in peace, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia. For the son whom you merited to bear, alleluia. Has risen as he said, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen, hallelujah.